CMD Boxing Reports, Ronell Higg reporting here, and I am back at it for the Boxing Fanatics. So yeah, man, I've been a little under the weather and all, and that's why like, I wasn't able to jump right on this Demetrius Andre video right away, you know, last night, but I'm getting it done now. And as you can hear, I has, you know, had added some uh, background music, so y'all won't have to hear this scratchy voice of mine. So uh, let's get it on here. So Demetrius Andre performed very well against his opponent, Artur Akovov. Now, he did get, you know, just a little comfortable with Akovov going down the stretch. It was, it was in like, what, in round nine, when Andre was like standing in the pocket, letting off some body and head shots, when uh, Akovov timed him and dropped a vicious three-punch combination that shook the crowd and looked if so, he heard it, Andre. And then he followed up with like two straight hooks that looked like, you know, they landed. But when watching the replay, you can clearly see the punches didn't land, you know, due to uh, Andre doing the shoulder roll. So like I said, he performed very well. However, the criticism comes in on his opponent's C-class level. It's like it's hard for Andre to face the elite opposition that's out there. Like when he was like scheduled to face Billy Joe Saunders, but we all know what happened to that fight. You know, it fell through because Billy Joe tested positive of some PED of some sort. And way before that uh, fight, Andre was going to face Jermel Charlo, I believe. And he didn't like, you know, like the pay they offered him. So that fight didn't happen. And talking about like how that fight fell apart, the fans went berserk on Andre, stating that he should have went on ahead and took the fight. He ain't fight anyone worthy enough to get paid as much money as them. And this, that and the third. And you know what? These are the same fans who was congratulating Deontay Wilder for not uh, accepting $15 million to face Anthony Joshua. Now, as I understand, okay, Demetrius Andre was only offered like 300 grand. And, you know, it, it was like a whole bunch of other stuff with it. First, they were saying that um, the fight, it wasn't really signed or anything. So, you know, it was just something that was out there, just hanging out there. And what they offered him was five, was 300 grand. But after the whole thing fell apart, he walked away. His uh, promoter came and said, oh, there was a misunderstanding. It was like 500 grand, which, you know, would have been like his highest pay or so. But Deontay Wilder walked away for 15 million. And these same fans that trashed Andre for walking away from like 250 grand or 300, 300 grand, you know, congratulated Wilder. So uh, I'm saying, look, if you think Deontay Wilder got lowball, okay, by Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua, by them offering him his career high of 15 million, although it was 15 million dollars flat, all right, why can't y'all do, you know, congratulate uh, Demetrius Andre for doing the same, walking away from, you know, the little uh, pennies that you know the charlos had offered him all right i mean they lowballed this dude meaning that they don't want the fight like the same thing they were saying about how uh eddie hearn and joshua lowballed deontay wilder by giving him 15 million dollars flat and that you know after deontay wilder pay his uh you know his trainers and you know and his promoter you know he's not gonna be left with that much money well the same thing would have went on with demetrius andre all right. I mean, he, he got low ball. OK. And then, you know, I was watching some old videos on uh, Demetrius Andre when he had called out uh, Jamel or uh, Jamal Charlo. Uh, I think they was uh, fighting at 154 at the time. And, um, you know, Charlo, he brought up the problems. Oh, well, you know, once you get your management, your team and everything right. Yeah, we can fight this, that and the third. I mean, yeah, they, they was just hey, them. Them dudes don't want to face Demetrius Andre. OK, they lowballed him with the money. And every time he comes up and want to fight one of them, oh, uh, you know, is your management and everything straight? Look, the man is fighting now. OK, so mostly everything is straight. Now, during the uh, fight last night, you know, after the stoppage, which was a shocker to me. All right. It means the guy only had like the fight was only like, what, 30 seconds. I had 30 seconds, 24 seconds left in the fight and everything's 
and the ref has stopped it in the final round okay so all right Demetrius Andre scored a, a TKO win all right now I believe that was a that was a Akovov's first time ever being stopped okay all right so Demetrius Andre closed the show but um what I want to say is that look the guy's fighting now all right so go ahead on and you know try to get a fight with them now they asked him about um uh billy joe saunders if he would like to uh you know try to get back and, and sign another deal with him and he said he's not even worried about billy joe saunders he did name triple g okay as uh another opponent which a lot of americans you know uh, in a matter of fact boxing fans from all over they want to see that fight as well so yeah that's the one he's aiming at now for uh charlo jamal charlo who's fighting at 160 uh, all right we all know it's going to be a problem with making that fight with you know him being on pbc with uh fighting on fox and on other networks and you know demetrius andre is now on um the zone so that's their new excuse for not fighting i mean it's like we really have to stop this i mean boxing is popping but now is it's like segregated now okay it's, it's all broken up into like different sections now so the fans you know we're really not going to get to see a lot of great fights that we want to see just because of this you know segregation that got going on all right this uh breaking apart and stuff but um anyways man you know i enjoyed the fight congratulations to uh demetrius andre and hope to see more of him you know in the future and that's my take on this cmd boxing reports and i catch you on the next one